Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turning. And I'm Trisha Hershberger. And this is Nerdborn! Nerd You're my wheel, baby. Hey, now! Hey, you, Disney Pixar released a new TV spot for Monsters University, which is a nice play on how real-life universities use cheesy campus montages, student testimonials, and fancy VO to entice prospective students. And check it. Imagine an education where extraordinary comes standard. Imagine a university. Where I. Where I. Where I can be unique. In a family of thousands. Where I can love to learn and learn what I love. Also, real quick, Pixar released concept art for their next three films. Get excited! First up is Monsters, Inc. director Pete Docter's as of yet untitled movie about the inside of the human mind. Ooh. A super awesome, also untitled Day of the Dead movie directed by Toy Story 3's Lee Unkrich, which I secretly wish was the Grim Fandango movie. Come on, make Grim Fandango into a movie, you know what I mean? Does anybody know what Grim Fandango is? All right. And finally, okay, wait, I'll have to say this really quietly so Lee doesn't hear me. A movie about Dash shit, Lee. I was just about to show them concept art for Pixar's next film called The Good Dinosaur. I know, I know. I've been following it since it was like in development, and then even since it was like speculated, and then since it was like announced in May 2012. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you, Lee. Yeah. All right, yeah, thank okay. you. Yeah. Now let's, 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 let's look. At, let's look, let's at, look the, at the back. Let's let's, 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 look, let's look at the. Let's, let's look show, at the. Look. And, and now, now let's, 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 let's show the image. image. Thanks, Stephen. Thank, thank you. you very much, Stephen. Th no, thank you. Thank Lee. you, Stephen. No, thank you. Thank you for your help, Stephen. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you for so helping much. me, Lee. Stephen Zaragoza, everybody. Thank you. I Stephen Zaragoza doing a dinosaur story. Okay, Stephen Zaragoza found, found it before. Lee! Found it first. Inch foot yard mile league fathom acre ounce pint quart gallon pound ton ah the imperial measurement system confusing as hell and pretty antiquated seeing as almost no countries still use it the US UK Liberia and Burma do but every other country is either fully metric or in the process of getting there over the new year a government petition was created to consider switching the United States over to metric the petition needs 25,000 signatures by the end of this month in order to move forward now as much as I think this conversion is necessary I bet most Americans would agree with me that saying that I am 150 55 centimeters tall. Just sounds odd. Kotaku's Chris Person recently released a YouTube video discussing what he believes to be the creepiest video game from the 1990s. The Dark Eye is a 1995 puppet adventure game for PC set to the works of Edgar Allan Poe. The action is rendered mostly in claymation and narrated by the late William S. Burroughs. I suppose you're the young master Mr. Aldwich waits for. While well, it looks unnerving as all hell, I'm here today to argue Person's assertion that it's the creepiest 90s PC game. That title easily belongs to Trilobite's Triumph, The Seventh Guest. Now look, I get that The Dark Eye has a world-famous author reading selections from one of the greatest literary minds of all time set to weird little animations, but The Seventh Guest had a mad toy maker whose toys killed thousands of children, encouraging six people to murder one another, set to an incredibly impressive live-action video. Plus, it had one of the best video game soundtracks of all time. Let's Let's take a listen. gets me. Ooh. And if we're gonna dip our toe into the sequel The Eleventh Hour, we get that same crazy toy maker ghost raping two women, resulting in one woman being confined to a wheelchair and the other birthing the spawn of Satan. Oh, 90s video games. You guys scarred me for life. So guys, what's your favorite creepy game from any era? Let us know in the comments down below. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Click this annotation or go to sourcefed.com for all of our newsy bloggy type stuff and all our other videos. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turney. Steve, you ready for our shot of Dayquil? Yeah, oh yeah, let's oh, do it, girl. Uh, still not sick. You're gonna get sniffed. She's nope. gonna get it. Sniffed. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, 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 uh. Immune system of steel.